Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, my name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. And on this channel, I teach about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. This is a bread and butter Bolo video, items that I pick up pretty cheap, usually really cheap, and I sell for $35 or less. I call that my bread and butter. Um, I like sourcing at estate sales and garage sales, thrift stores, YouTube auctions. I'll pretty much source just about anywhere, Facebook Marketplace, anywhere I can find a deal. I like to bundle. And some of these are probably going to knock your socks off because you probably would not even look twice at these items. If you saw them, you just keep on walking. And I'm going to show you how I sell these items for a very nice profit. Again, thank you for being here. If you're new here, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed and hit that like button. And let's get started. All right, the first item is this little teeny miniature, I'm going to call it a dollhouse decoration, and it's super cute. I picked this up, I believe it was with a bunch of dollhouse items from an estate sale. I sold this for $13.50, and the buyer paid shipping, so they were all in for $19.51 for this little guy. This is a vintage Barbie apron, and the rolling pin is broken. Um, I sell broken items often, quite often, actually. Just because it's broken doesn't mean somebody doesn't want it. And you would be surprised at the things that I sell that are damaged. So uh, don't rule them out. Definitely kind of check the market, especially if it's a harder to find vintage item. People will still buy it. This sold for $11.24 plus shipping. The next item are these Sylvania Family's Calico Critters Baby Lambs. These came from an estate sale. I got a big lot of these in a bag and I paid one price for all of them. I had about 25 cents in this by the time I broke it all down. Sold this for a best offer of $15 and the buyer was all in for 21. This is a lot of Hot Wheels, Matchbox, cars. I basically just take a bunch of cars, throw them in a medium flat rate box, put them up on eBay, cross post them to Mercari. I use this perfectly. If you want to know more about that, there's a link down in the description that shows you how to do it. If you want to try list perfectly, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. So I do not put these on Poshmark because they weigh more than 10 pounds, I believe. So this is more of an eBay Mercari thing. They actually do pretty good on uh, Mercari. I call these like my toy boxes or my toy lots. And it's basically for people that are looking to buy a box of toys for their child to go through. This is not probably for collectors. I mean, I suppose I could have missed something because I don't know anything about these cars. But um, I, I don't know. They're more of a toy box. I'm not selling to the collector. I sold this for a best offer of $34 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $54.17. I pick these up at, um, like I get them in mystery boxes from the thrift store. I also pick them up in big bulk buys at like garage sales and stuff like that. So I'm a bundler. I'd like to bundle items at sales. This next item is a hat. It is a vintage Riverside Coca-Cola hat. Pick this up at a garage sale. I bought a whole bunch of hats from the guy. I want to say probably paid 50 cents to a buck for this. Sold it for a best offer of $22. The buyer was all in for $27.90. This is a Moosey, uh, Moosey, Moose Disney Dorable Toys. And these came off of Facebook Marketplace. I bought a whole bag of stuff. I have a video over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel about that where I unbox it or unbag it. It was a parent getting rid of a bunch of her kids' toys. And I had purchased from her before, gave her my um, information and said, please reach out to me if you ever have anything you want to sell in the future, if you don't want to put it on Marketplace. That's what she did. She said, come get this bag for, I think it was 20 bucks, something like that. It's all in the video. But these little dorables, I thought I would just try them. They're real, real small. And I probably had about a quarter in this. And I sold these for a best offer of $9 plus shipping. This is one of those things where I'm like, why on earth did I buy this? Uh, what was I thinking? It sold. I made a really great profit on it. But it took a little while to sell and I don't know, it's not really my style of thing, but I guess it's a learning, a learning item for all of you. Um, I don't know if I would buy it again if I saw it. It's a vintage 1974 coin bank. It's a covered wagon and it's missing the keys. I got this at a garage sale for $1 and it sold for $18.75. The buyer was all in for $31.81 with tax and shipping. 
The next item is this little mini Boyd's Bears. It is a TF Wuzzies. This is not one of the big money ones. If you guys um, have not seen my Boyd's Bears video to look for, some of them can go for hundreds of dollars. There's specific ones you need to look for. Go check out that video. Not to be confused with the TF Wuzzies. Um, this little guy sold for 10 bucks. Uh, the buyer was all in for 15, 20. He did have a hole um, right here on the seam of his arm. I probably could have got a little bit more, but I picked him up at a garage, so I think he was 50 cents. This rattle, I saw this at a thrift store and I knew that it was going to sell fast and for good money because um, the little nut brown hair is a storybook and I could not find any others that were like this listed. It is a rattle and it's new old stock from 2013. So it's a retired new old stock item. Always grab those items, especially if they're cheap. This came from a thrift store. I paid $1.25 for it and it sold for $22.50 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $31.04. These are candles. This was a very, very long tail item. I remember I got these at a garage sale, but I don't recall what I paid for them, probably two or three dollars. I ended up taking a best offer of $35 for these, and the buyer was all in for $48.78. They are faux candles, so they are made of porcelain and they've got these really uh, ornate like uh, flower pattern on them, made in Japan. Just a cool piece. I thought they were gonna sell actually pretty quick, and they didn't. So I don't know. I would probably buy them again just because I think they're cool and I'm okay with long tail items. These are Skylanders. Most Skylanders do not go for a whole lot of money. They're better typically when you lot them up. Um, I do typically look them up because sometimes some of them can surprise you, but I lotted these two together. They're from Nightmare Express and I found that out by using Google Lens, which is a free app that you can attach to your phone and take photos of the item and then it will pull up the items on Google based on the match of the photo. It's fantastic if you're not using it. It's something I found out later about in my reselling journey and it's something I wish I would have had like a long time ago. So it's definitely a, an app you wanna download for looking up items. Sold this for $10, uh, had about a buck in these from a thrift store and I the buyer was all in for $17.31. This item is awesome. This is another Google Lens item because I could not find it. I could not figure it out and Google Lens found it. It is a vintage Hot Wheels Diablo Zowie's Hong Kong Mattel car. And I got this in a mystery toy lot from Auctions For You. I bought this on her YouTube channel and it was a $100 toy box. And you can see the unboxing on this channel. I pop up screen shares of how I listed everything. But this car sold for $20 plus shipping, $27.44. The buyer was all in for this little teeny car. Look how little it is, it's tiny. And I'm glad I looked it up because a lot of times those things just get tossed to the side and nobody looks them up. 20 bucks for that. This Airfix uh, Incomplete. This is an incomplete model. And I got this at a thrift store for $1.50, sold it for $20 plus shipping. So buyer was all in for $32.65. So again, incomplete items, they will sell. This little Smurf also came out of an auctions for you mystery box. And I do have T auctions for you linked down in the description if you wanna check out her YouTube channel. If you're looking for inventory, she sells to resellers. This little Smurf sold for $12 and the buyer was all in for $18.21. Blaze in the Monster Machine. If you see these, definitely pick them up. There is one purple car. I think her name's Starla or Darla or something. She's a cowgirl truck and she is money. She's like 25, 30 bucks for her. But this guy, he is a woolly mammoth. He sold for 1950 plus shipping. The next item is this Mother Goose um, Princess in the Pea tape and book. These go to the, um, it's a goose. It's a talking goose. And the person bought, I think it was the same person that bought both of these. $30 a piece, all in for $39.73. And I bought those with the goose and um, I think the duck. If you want to know more about that, I was on Primetime Treasure Hunters Thrift Battle and I used that as one of my items. So all the details are over there. This is a hummingbird brooch. Sold this for a best offer of 14. The buyer was all in for 20, 24. And I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents. So it's a hummingbird. This is another item that came out of my box from Auctions For You. And I sold these for $20. The buyer was all in for $25.50. These are Arthur from PBS Kids. They're little teeny mini figures. Let me show you how small they are. How cute is that? 
The next item are these vintage barrettes. If you guys do not know, vintage barrettes can definitely be a item to be on the lookout for. I did take a best offer of $35 on these. The buyer was all in for $40. I got these at a garage sale for about a buck. Um, I bought a whole bunch of them. The next item is this dollhouse floor part. So I took a dollhouse from 1991. It's a play school dollhouse. And I parted the entire thing out. I have done this twice. This dollhouse is a bolo. So definitely look for it. Um, I sold this floor piece for $15. The buyer was all in for $32.64. The next item is this Royal Dalton Brambley Hedge Spring Plate. Um, I got this out of a bolo box that was um, gifted to me by one of my YouTube members. Um, she's a subscriber of the channel and she later joined memberships and she's now a moderator of my Facebook group and helps me out. And she has an amazing channel. But early on, I mean, this has probably been over a year ago. She said, she's like, can I send you a box of a, like a mystery box? And I'm like, okay. And she sent me a box full of bolos. It was an amazing box. So sweet of her. This is Terry, Mindful Recycle. You guys, if you are not subbed to her, you definitely need to go subscribe to her channel. I'm not saying that because she bought me a bolo box or sent me a bolo box. I'm telling you that because she is a bolo finder. She is super educated in finding and sourcing awesome items to sell on eBay. She does pay up for her stuff if she knows it's a bolo, but you should see what she gets for this stuff. She's amazing. Her channel is amazing. Please go sub her up. I will link her down in the description. Terry Mindful Recycle. The next item are these Cabbage Patch Kids shoes. And I got these at an estate sale and a bulk lot of Cabbage Patch Kids items. So I got about a dollar in this. Sold it for $12. The buyer was all in for $18.49. The next item I like picking these up. They're Creative Memories. Uh, they're page protectors. I probably got these at a garage sale or something. But I paid, um, I didn't write what I paid. I didn't keep track. So I apologize. I think this was in a scrapbook lot and I paid three to $5 for all of it, if I remember correctly. Uh, sold this for $25. The buyer was all in for $37.49. And I took a best offer on that one. This is a vintage paper mache Easter egg. I always pick these up. They, let me show you what the inside looks like. This is what they look like on the inside. If you see that, these do very well. They are kind of long tail. They usually sell around Easter, but I have sold them off season. Took a best offer of $22 on this and it sold uh, with tax and shipping for $29.15. The next item is this hand puppet. Got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. I sold it for a best offer of $12. The buyer was all in for $18.46. This is a Jelly Cat. I always pick up the brand Jelly Cat. This is what it looks like here. His whiskers were a little bit tied up. Uh, so I ended up selling it for $18.74 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $29.36. And this is a vintage plastic backed diaper. It's a disposable diaper. These are very, very collectible. This one came out of my Cabbage Patch lot that I got from an estate sale. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to see if I can sell a single diaper. This is a very small diaper because it fits a doll. And I sold this for a best offer of $8. The buyer was all in for $14.18. So which bolo, bread and butter bolo, surprised you the most? Which one would you have walked right past? No way I'm picking it up. Also, I want you guys to tell me in the comments, where is your favorite place to source? You know, I'm like a garage sale girl, but I have been going to the Goodwill Benz outlet lately and I am absolutely loving it. So I'm going to say still garage sales are my favorite. I do enjoy thrift stores. I, and if I'm sitting at home and I feel like sourcing, I love going on YouTube and sourcing. So I don't know. It's so hard. I just... I don't really care. I just love to source. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, like I said, put that information down there. If you want to tell me how you found the channel, that would be awesome as well. Thank you for being here and be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching.